Our upcoming speaker is a Boston University graduate. He comes with a strong family business background and is reputed for starting innovative ventures which are pioneers in their field. He has been instrumental in introducing the organized car rental business to India by signing an agreement with Hertz Rent-A-Car in 1985 at the age of 21 on behalf of his family. He was the pioneer in the field of telephone search engine and launched the famous brand Ask Me, establishing the first 24-7 telephone call handling facility in India in 1989. He has been a finalist for the Young Business Achieve Achiever Award instituted by sister Sachi and Sachi and the Indian Express. He is now fully devoted to the cause of personal, social and corporate upliftment of people by promoting the business of image consulting. Ladies and gentlemen, the co-founder of the Image Consulting Business Institute and the director of the Image Management Professionals Association. Please put your hands together for Mr. Rakesh Agarwal. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just can't begin to tell you how excited and emotional I am today. I hope you realize that today, the day will go down in history in India. We will talk about and the whole day today, the image management industry. But with the launch of a professional association, a trade body, Image Management Professionals Association, the industry will now get structured. It will get regulated. We will talk about the activities that IMPA is going to undertake. Several initiatives you will get to hear from various disting distinguished speakers throughout the day. We will also have some fun event. We also have certain things planned for you later in the day, which I am pretty confident as of right now, and it may sound odd for you to hear this, but may bring tears in your eyes, because this is a moment like that, a moment where please realize that whenever a new industry gets established, more than anything else, what's really important to give it shape, give it direction and create ways and means to promote and regulate good practices in the industry. Because it happens very frequently that various people who participate in the industry as the industry grows and over a period of time, certain times the industry starts going in a different direction. We are very happy today that unlike in most other cases where when a new industry starts, it takes a long time for an association to come into the picture. And it just happens automatically over a period of 5, 10, 15 years. In this case, it is a planned formation of a trade body right from the beginning when the industry is just about to take off. So as a result, you can put in various principles into the play, you can put in various, I wouldn't call it rules and regulations, but guidelines. So that right when the industry as it infant stage, it can start moving in the correct direction. So it's all about making a change. The launch of IMPA is about making a change, but this entire image management industry and setting it up in India, the dream started in 2009, somewhere around the month of September, where myself and Suman, we realized that going forward, this country is going to need people, going to need concepts to guide them in terms of how to become better in every aspect for success in personal, professional and social lives. As many of you have heard several times, India is at a stage today where the competition is really, really fierce and is going to become fiercer with each passing day. We are privileged and blessed to have the youngest population in the world, with average age being the lowest. 
and it's also a big challenge and a huge problem for the government because when you have such a large young population if they are not directed properly so many things can happen they can go into different directions they can go into destructive measures and it can really really create a big problem and that's why from last 2 to 3 years our government has huge initiatives put into the place so that more and more people are able to move forward in the correct direction soft skills is an area which is a great focus area for government in the next 30 years huge amounts of monies have been allocated by the ministry of hrd ministry of education for development of soft skills image management when we started in 2009 nobody in india really understood what image management is in fact i can recall at least 10 instances in different cities when we used to make a presentation and in the end of the presentation somebody used to come some participant and they said oh we thought that it had something to do with x-ray images and the imaging industry and that's why when we heard this word we came here but now we realize that what you are talking about is something totally different today in the last 3 years just yesterday we had a presentation and since last 1 year whenever we have been having a presentation almost everyone who participates in it in the beginning while they are introducing themselves they say oh i know image management is a big industry everyone in this country needs it without that you can't really survive you can't really move forward so that's the change that has happened in the last 3 years of course media has got lapped onto it and it started writing about image management not every time they may use the word image but they used words which are different elements of image however if you actually look at it the industry is actually i am not saying image consulting but i am saying the industry of image management why is needed the need is very simple as competition increases you have more and more people fighting for every opportunity in life whether it's personal life professional life social life i mean today there is tremendous competition even for marriage there are television ads where you will see people hunting for match making for marriages and community websites and so many kinds of things which have started coming up end of the day it's competition professional life whether it's about a job whether it's about promotion whether it's about business deals whether it's about negotiations there is everyone who is fighting for it because of the competition and awareness increasing tremendously almost everyone today is technically qualified everyone today has the education almost everyone when i say everyone it's almost everyone everyone today is more aware because of the globalization the technology is really really developed in the last few years so the point is if you were a recruiter and if you suppose needed five engineers and if you gave a recruitment ad and if let's say 500 people applied for it it's common sense to assume that all of them will be engineers because obviously a non engineer is not going to apply for an engineering job so then the point comes is that if you are the recruiter and if all 500 are engineers how will you select those five people that you need so it's a logical conclusion that in most cases that selection is not going to be on the basis of engineering skills because out of those 500 people at least half of them will come from the similar institutions just like any other so it's that extra edge while you have the technical skills while you have the ability while you have the knowledge what is it that you bring extra to the table what is that edge that you create and that is what is going to determine how successful you will be in any sphere of life
So, if you actually look at it with competition increasing, it is no surprise that people will need image management, people will need to make themselves better and India has a huge population. I always mention that 40 year old industry image management which is a multi billion dollar industry and within 3 years we are one of the biggest players in the industry in terms of scale worldwide. But I also add that yes we have put in lot of hard work and all that is there but it is no surprise because unfortunately in US or in Europe they do not have the luxury of such a huge population that we have. So, it is very difficult to achieve scale in those countries, but in a country like India when you have the right concept when it clicks the scales can be amazing you have millions and millions of people who can come and participate in the initiative. So, going back to when we conceived this idea and since most of you know me personally, I have always created new industries, I always take those challenges, I have never got involved in any work that has already been happening in the country. So, I can tell you with my experience that any good idea, any new concept in the world goes through three stages. The first stage is ridicule, where people when you talk to them, they make fun of it. And they say, what are you talking about? In India is never going to work. I remember, I will narrate you an incident way back in 1986, almost 26 years back. When I came back from Boston after finishing my education, I told at least 10 people, businesses, including my own family, that let us get into food delivery business. It is going to be an excellent business in India. And people used to laugh at me. People used to tell me that who is going to order food from outside in India? I mean, don't you know that we like to eat fresh food? We don't like to eat food which we cook. We don't eat food in the evening what is cooked in the afternoon because we are so fanatic about fresh food. Who do you think is going to call and ask for food? And I used to ask them that, okay, tell me one thing. Supposing one day you feel like not cooking, do you have a choice? What will you do? How will you eat? So, do not you think that everyone likes to cook each day because there is no option? If an option was there, then whether people would use it or not, that is the question. Of course, they did not believe me at, at that time and I did not have the backing or the courage and or the age to start get into it on my own because they are little capital intensive projects. But I think today if you look around India, I have been proven right. And I think today most people would probably, I think I am sure there are several people today with the fast life of jobs and shift jobs and things like that, that whether cooking food is probably once a month affair. Where if given a choice, people would like to order food because now the facility is available. 